Hi, I'm Rhea and this is 69% Pink. So today, I am going to be making a mooncake box for Run 1 because Song Tio Jie is right around the corner and I didn't actually want to make a two design fits in a row because I usually try and have a little bit of variety, sprinkle new things here and there. But this time, I realized that Song Tio Jie was like, it's looming and I still hadn't made this mooncake box project and because I hadn't done like stuff like this in a while I was like shit I would rather have more time to attempt it and thus we have like my fastest update ever <laughs> um sorry for my sporadic schedule but I'm never gonna change <laughs> But so anyway, I'm going to try and talk a little bit more this round instead of like straight up eating and leaving music on like the other time. So I mean like we can experiment with how different formats are done on this channel before I stick with something. That's how it goes. And so I hope you guys like process video, your ASMR. And I also hope you guys like this little chibi I added so it feels a little less wild to have me talk out of nowhere. With that, let's start. So first... I am um, okay so I just grabbed like a picture of a mooncake box that I saw online with like a similar layout to how I wanted to depict the uh, box that I was making to look with the draw on the bottom and the lid on top so that you know it's easier to trace off of you know work smart not hard and Okay, technically I actually had a box like this at home that I could have used but I don't have the like boxes inside of it and I thought that I might as well just use this one so I was just trying to like trace how that looked at the moment and here I am designing the mooncake pattern and I wanted it to be a high tang with like the five petals and like the thingies inside you know the thing with the pollen or the nectar that butterflies eat pollinate i don't know i don't know i forgot all my biology <laughs> but you know that thing in the inside of the flower yeah and i was just like you know doing the same thing i did like in their previous design video just making the mooncake a mooncake and here i'm cutting it up in half so that you can see the goji berries and osmanthus paste inside and yes it's osmanthus paste because like Chu Anning famously loved his osmanthus jellies and usually those have like goji berries inside so I was like let's just make a mooncake with goji berries you know inside it too I'm sure that's the thing <laughs> and um oh yeah I made this design like separately off camera and frankly i was dying over it and i was just like pencil tooling away unbelievably i this was like the first time i found out the pencil tool was the thing <laughs> and then i just like refined it because doing all that fl all those flowers with my mouse alone would have been a pain but yeah this flower that i did specifically is supposed to be the uh, Sifu Hai Tang, which apparently I saw online, was like the specific Hai Tang hai, um, breed that um, Meat Bun wrote like significant the true warning. So I was like, cool beans, I'll go with that. So, like, like I mean, from what I thought, Hai Tangs have like five petals, <laughs> but then this one has, I went to search online and all the Sifu Hai Tang had a lot petals and I was like well I'm not an expert like I'm gonna trust Google on this one <laughs> like I was just following the pictures so if they tell me this is a high tongue I'm gonna believe them <laughs> like what would I do what would I know yeah I'm just following the um, colors here from my reference picture as well like I made that draft like way before and then like, yeah, I'm just adding the details inside the funky little feeler thingies in the inside of a flower I really don't f I don't remember what they're called pistol stamen I don't know <laughs> and yeah I'm just adding gradients gradients are fun I like them I realize I rely a lot on gradients now when I design don't know how to feel about that
like spoiler for later but in the end I like got rid of like the leaves because I didn't feel like they matched the color palette with like this green out of nowhere like stealing the thunder of fucking everything else and so I got rid of them and I, and I feel so bitter about it because I worked so hard to like draw so many leaves like I could have saved myself so much effort but frankly I feel like when I design I end up doing a lot of things that later on I don't use at all and I'm like <laughs> that took I could have saved so much time just not doing that at all but here we are you know Like frankly, I was actually wanting to paint this design, but I went. I decided against it because I stuck at painting, and I thought that it would look nicer if, because because I was gonna end up doing all of it in like a vector type of way. I thought that okay, if the design looks like it's vector as well, at least maybe the whole design will look cohesive. <sighs> I think I ended up getting that in the end, but you know. Anyway, here are the glowy butterflies, just like the ones that Moran made in, like, I forgot what chapter, just a little bit before chapter 279, not, two, not 200, uh, uh, before chapter 179 in Erha, where, like, like right after the Rufong set shit happened and they were like chilling at the thing and Wanning was making those like yeah like his like high tongues with his spiritual energy and Warren made butterflies along with them. Like that scene lives in my head rent free forever. Honestly I would have liked to make the yellow um spiritual energy high tongues that Chu Wanning made as well but I wanted to make the tree, like the tree, it's very pretty and you know mooncake boxes, they always have all sorts of like random like flowers and shit on them so I was like this was the perfect time to make a high tongue tree and so I did it even though I actually hate trees like especially cherry blossom trees and that kind of thing like drawing them and um designing them confuses me so much because like from a distance they like it looks like a tree but then there are all those like designs and drawings of them just like as branches and i'm like where's the rest of the tree like it makes me it stresses me out so frankly i don't really like dealing with them because i feel like when i try to design the branch that has the tree like connected to the tree later on i feel like the tree looks too bald and like it doesn't have enough flowers but if i add more flowers it would look ugly because that section would be too cluttered and then the rest of everything would be empty and so i hate it <laughs> Like, I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I just do not like trees because of that. Like, all those details, like, I look at the leaves, I look at the, tr like, all the branches, and look at all that detail, and I'm like, ew. Screw this. Not today. Yeah, and here I'm trying to, like, divide it into, um, like, sections, so that there's, like, the top part where the lid cover thing of the mooncake is that and then the bottom parts can just like be pasted onto that section i don't even know if this is like like this like it's really hard for me to there i don't think there's like a tool for me to just like mesh it on top of it and so i had to do it all manually which is kind of gross but you know whatever if it looks good in the end that's all that matters I'm very proud of how it turned out though. I think it looks pretty and I would actually want to make this a mooncake box but unfortunately I have no budget. <laughs> okay and frankly I'm very proud of the inside boxes that I made as well. Like you'll see the design in a bit okay. I'm very proud of them. I really love the font that I ended up using for this too but yeah. And, frank and frankly doing this took me way longer than it should have. Like doing the box like all the details of the box it took me like nine ten hours which is kind of insane <laughs> 
I'm like, why are you taking so long? I'm just... I guess most of the time was spent on making the designs. But yeah, I don't know why, like, just making a box should take that long. Ah yes, I'm making the design for the box, the inside box now. And also this is the, like, I don't know what you call it, but it's the thing that you would use to open the lid of the top part of the mooncake box. I'm sorry, my descriptions are so ass, but like, if you if you've seen mooncake boxes, like you know what I'm talking about. Like like when I finish this thing, you will kind of get what I'm trying to do. <laughs> like it's a thing that you would open the box with. Yeah, and this is me trying to create depth. I optical illusion is my best friend. <laughs> and yeah, and back to to the design of the box. I'm very proud of it. Like, look at it. It's so cute. Like that fawn for the run one. Chef's kiss. I love her. And then I made her gold as well. Like, wow. Yeah, and like just the high tongues and the butterflies. So run one. I love that for them. And like, you know, because I like pink, like this is 69% pink, I'm very happy that um, this box has like, like the main color isn't pink, but the accent is, and it looks so nice with pink as like the sub, like one of the accent colors. Also, I really wanted to add a shadow here. I don't know why my, and there was that weird lump in the middle where the butterfly or the top was and yeah this was my different color layouts i actually kind of wanted to go for pink but i decided the box is purple like moron so the inside should be two on in color yellow even though i do not like yellow i just do gold stuff because i love one name all right pew me next time if i ever heard to make a sure on one thing i'm gonna cry because like Probably can't shoehorn some pink in there because he's a blue and a green turquoise boy. Life is so miserable, SMH. Okay, but like, look though, that pink looks so nice with the purple box. I love this color combination so much. Like, pink, yellow, purple, and red. We love to see it. Wow. Oh, this part is so satisfying. Like, I am legit proud of how the box looks. And then in the inside of the, like in the inside of the box too, yeah, this is the design that I was going to be doing for it. So there's like, you know, like this is a run run box and you get run one inside of your box. Like, isn't that adorable? I want this box to be real so bad. I would put it on my makeup table and everything. Get to open it up and then see run one just like being adorable babies. And like, okay, frankly, I've, I had been having a bit of a chibi crisis before I started this project. But after doing this project and doing these chibis, like, I'm so proud of them now. Like, look at one name. He looks so baby. I can't. And like, Bunny is around one. Maybe that's the whole reason I do this project. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it is. But I think they are so precious. I love mooncakes, I love bunnies, Song Xiu is the best festival ever. Oh yeah, and I this is the this is like the latch of the drawer that you would use to pull open the drawer. And me trying to make it look 3D was a struggle. <laughs> Yeah, look at the babies. They're so cute. And I'm, yeah, me going back to my other canvas to steal hearts. I wanted to add a little something more to this 
um, design, to be honest. To, even now, I still kind of wonder if I could have added a little bit more. But thinking about how elaborate the designs are for the inside, for like the boxes inside the box already, and the box in general, I think that that round one is just being like that. It's kind of cute. Ah uh, yes, and I added a flavor label as well because I'm extra and I think it'll be cute <laughs> and like I love selecting fonts So I was not about to deprive designer me from doing that <laughs> mm -hmm. Like in the final product you can't even see it, but I don't care. Oh, yeah, and I actually I did want to add like a design to that thingy the like yeah, the thing that the mooncakes were on, but I mean, it, it didn't look great, and so I just decided, fine, let's be minimalist, let's just make it pink. What's like, I love pink anyway, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm making the frame right now as well. When I tell you, I was looking forward to making this frame so badly. Like, do I just want to like was this project really just an excuse for me to throw something in that's very design heavy in my portfolio? Maybe! <laughs> but does it look very cute and is it a very adorable addition to my portfolio? Very much so. We love killing like two birds with one stone or whatever that saying was. I don't know why my brain is thinking of like stew. I don't think that's it. But yeah. Envelope the start is my best friend. Thank you for arc warp arc warping my little frame things. Yay. And then here is me like messing with the gradients. Oh, yeah, I wanted to add like a little moon thingy at the bottom of the frame as well, but I realized that the sizing is kind of off and also I didn't know how to do it <laughs> so I just like well, said fuck it simplicity is nice because I'm lazy <laughs> and then here are the chibis overlaid onto this because I know that if I posted this without the chibis on it no one was gonna like the damn post so here are like cute little run one babies on the box as well and i really like the d winding like reaching for the box i don't know how i don't know what he's trying to do frankly because like how is he supposed to get, grab that box it's bigger than his entire body but you know it looks cute so we're not gonna question it <laughs> and yes samoran is trying to guard that quarter of a moon kick from that bunny because that's his ball base don't take it <laughs> Like, oh my god, look at them though. This is the cutest, like, project I've done in such a long time. I love them. My babies. And then I did a few tweaks off screen as well. So this is the final. And I'm so proud of them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And... Um, happy Mid-Autumn Festival. It's your 小姐快乐. And bye-bye. Y'all next time.